You are, so you are using this argument. So now I'm going to. No, no I, I'm referring to. No, no. If you're going this, to. This makes sense. No, if you are going to use this okay. argument, I'm going to say. This, this, this is okay. Not an argument for the okay. Trinity. Does God? It's an explanation why it makes sense. Okay. And also why okay. Let's see how you consistent. Know what, you, you know. You know, that's also a no, no. reason for fine, fine. a recording. Can we see how consistent I, this may be? I don't think I'm so... Tough because I don't yeah. think it's going to be a proper conversation. It's yeah, yeah. Just Let's see how there. consistent we can uh, use and apply this reason. You know, you know if, if we, we don't can, I, can I just make one, we, one... We don't get to the idea of God through philosophy. No, no, let's not use... You let's know, let's, got, let's not use philosophy then. Through the Bible. Yeah, sure. It talks about God as yeah. the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay. The word. The he just. Okay. Yeah. Are they recording so, us? Yes, so, whole... just to come back to the example, before the, God created this universe, who was He merciful to, and who was He punishing, and who was He forgiving? Before He created the universe. Yeah. Do you I... believe, first of all, God is merciful? He's someone who is can punish. Do you believe God has anger and wrath? Yeah, but that, that, that's, is this that's a... always against what is sin. So if there's no sin, yeah. there's no there's no point in so did being he... angry. So you think? So I, I, th I think that. Is so that, if that I were to ask you, was God holiness. was God? He was holy. Just give you eternity. just give you consistency sake. Was God a creator before he created anything? Uh, I, d I don't think that makes sense because. So he wasn't if, the creator. If, 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 if because he's the creator of everything. But you know, but before he created anything, huh? Before he created anything, that that's only God existed, right? Was he created then? Huh? Was he a creator when he didn't create anything? He became the creator. So now you're saying God becomes. So he changes oh, his yes. nature. So no, he doesn't change his nature. So what happened? But he changes his uh, approach. You know, sometimes he judges. Sometimes he reaches out in mercy. Sometimes he changes. You know that right. from the Bible. So now, sometimes why, why don't you? He, he doesn't change fine, his nature. He's, good, good. He's so why don't you say on the same he's light, holy. on the same light, yep. God can love and not love as he pleases, as he wishes. He doesn't need to have an object like the Son okay. and the Holy Spirit. That was the whole okay. reason I, mean, I gave the, that example. The, the, fine. That makes sense. The, but, fine, but fine. We, we, but can I come back I, to this I, issues I about self-sufficiency? I, I think though. love is is not just it's not just an attribute something you do it's, it's part of his essence so that something what you have or don't have right so either you have love something you something you give but it's it's part of the trinity but you have to have the attribute to be applied to apply it if you didn't have love as an attribute you can't apply it and love someone so that means the father has to possess the love to even love the son for example so the attribute needs to come first do you agree or disagree? No, I, don't, I, don't think so. I think so. I, th I think it's part of God's nature. So, like, no, no. Do God like have to have the attribute first, or does He need to have the object first? I don't think that makes sense from, from a Trinitarian point of view, no. because you know, from God any perspective, from any perspective, is, it makes makes sense inside the Trinitarian perspective. Because no, no. God is loving from eternity. He has loved the Son. Break down. If you, break it down. Yeah, but you, individual persons, if the Father did not have the attribute of love from eternity to eternity. Would he be able to love the son? I think I think it's not just an attribute; it's his character of love. So it's that character it, it, I'm talking it, about. It, holiness, I'm talking about character. If he didn't have the character of love, now we're just changing holiness, the definition. His love is part of the eternal but, character of love. The eternal and that's character. Why he has been a trinity from eternity, and also for okay. for eternity will be part of sure. a community of human beings. He calls so, us so into let's, fellowship. Let's let's that's going to be let's, eternal. let's talk about something about self sufficiency of the. Son. Do you think Jesus, who is the Word of God or the Logos, was dependent for his existence on the Father or independent of him? That's a good question. But I think I think they are as a Trinity, are a, a unity in the Trinity. So now I, I understand think, the I belief, think, yeah. but I'm not talking about what you believe. I'm talking about now. I, I what is the reality? Is the Son dependent for his own existence on the Father, or is he independent it, of him? It, it doesn't make sense in the Trinitarian perspective, that question. So what because is it they're then? they're equally eternal. They're, if e they're equally eternal, eternal and they are so they, they interrelational. Interdependent? I, I, I don't want to think interrelational, I would say. Look, because they have eternal to, No, we, we need to understand this concept clearly. If you're going to believe something, it needs to make, make sense. You know, no, that's, that's Do you consider we, God I, is dependent I, or independent? Oh, this is, you're, you're like a Christmas tree now. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> a garland. Is this, 
is this an so, exercise so, with, with so, ten cameras? So, so look, look, about, look, look into this. This good, yeah. You know, if we, you have we, God, we don't come to this belief through phil philosophical reasoning. So we come to the belief. I haven't used any philosophical terms. You, you, yeah, no, the, the, have the, I? The, the, yeah, the attributes. Does it come before or after? That's, so, that's, do you believe in God having attributes? It does have attributes, and he also has a character. Do you believe in character of God? Yeah. So I'm talking about that. So I'm not talking of philosophy. So, so, I'm talking yeah, about what these, you believe in. These are these are actually kind of philosophical discussion. You know, we come. But you to believe the in it already. The Trinity, I'm, because I'm, the Bible says it's the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I do understand. Like Jesus was baptized. Sure. You look, know, look. I, under, I understand. The Father says, "This is my son." Listen, whom I love. I've forgotten your name. The Holy Spirit. What, what, what's your name? I've forgotten your name. I do apologize. It's Wait, been a while. Bjorn. Hmm? Bjorn. Bjorn. I'm you Mansur. Know, you, yes, I know you're Mansur. Yeah. That's good. good Bjorn. Good Bjorn. I apologize for not remembering you for many but, years. Yeah, but you're famous, so we know your name. No, no, so, you're famous I, too. I Bjorn, you, 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 you will be famous too. Do you know the name, the meaning of the name? No. A bear. A bear. Do you know the name of? Bear, do you know the naming, meaning of the name Mansur? No, I don't. Someone who is victorious or helped. Oh, yeah. or helped. Help, like if you help me, so oh, yeah. I'm like helped help by me. God. Okay. So helped, only someone is already helped Mansur. So Nasara Yansur Nasran, Fahua Nasrun, Wanusura Yunsur Nasran, Fahua Mansurun. So this is the Mansur in Arabic, this is the, the syntax yeah, and morphology. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, a bear. Yeah would be a good help if he's friendly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I want you to be, I'm, I'm very peaceful, I want to be, and I'm I, Norwegian, I want to speak to a friendly bear. I, I want to come yeah. in peace. Sure. Not like we did in the okay, old time. Fine, right, Bjorn. Right, right, yeah. So coming back, when we say God is dependent or independent, it makes sense only for believing in a God who has to be dependent or independent. Which one would make sense? God in his entirety, in Trinity or unity, whatever. <laughs> dependent or independent? No, I don't, I don't think that makes sense because, you know, in a relationship... No, no, no. What I'm saying, no, yeah, no, collectively... In Trinity, yeah, that collectively. doesn't make sense because they ha are in a relationship. Yep. So, um, the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. they are from eternity and they love one another. But you might, I don't think you would call that dependency. In human love could be more kind of dependency. But I'm but using they, different they, languages. Yes, and I, yes, it, it, it's kind of philosophical language, no. I think. Excuse me. And I don't, don't, I don't, uh, don't use I, I philosophical don't, language. I think this, the, let's, the, let's the, not, let's dependency not use. is not the term that's used in the Bible. It's used by God and the word, you know the word, logos. And it's, it's used the, the, uh, the term of the wisdom and the uh, son of man and everything. So they no. use different terms. What so, I'm so, so you you could say see Jesus Christ as 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 he is incarnate, living living amongst us. Oh, I'm sorry, not. I'm getting some. Is it, is it the bear? It must the be the allergic to the allergic to the fur the oh, fur sorry, of the bear, I'm isn't sorry, it? I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's you, okay. You, you, you know, you know, you're uh, having a good time. You know, a real bear. So let's go, come back to this point. You see, God's existence cannot be dependent on someone or something. He has to independently exist. But that's Do you agree? That's a, that's a, Do you agree? A, Do we agree on that? But that's a trinity. The trinity. God, 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 God. Whatever God you're talking about. Any God to be but, the real God. Yeah, but I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure. Because So have a God like the Trinity itself collectively depends on something else. Would that make sense? No, not logically the, Oh look at this one. Speaker's corner with a car. Is that a prince? Yeah. Are people allowed to drive in here? No. 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 It's a BMW, so it's a posh car, expensive car. Anyway, they got the money. Yeah. do so, you consider so, uh, 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 any concept I, of God? I think, I think these the, the questions of dependence and independence can. Can, can bring so you, us. so you, so it's possible I, for you I, to believe I think, that. I think, I think God, in His Trinity, is perfect. But he, uh, uh, not, not but He's perfect, and there is. Uh, what does perfect united, mean to? It's united by love. Perfect means no imperfection, right? Well, it that's what you mean. What, it depends on what you mean by imperfection as well. No, 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 no. If, Perfect if, if, means yeah. no imperfection. He's perfect. Yeah, but if you mean that, there cannot be any change. No, like no, 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 you're, you're actually, God, you're God thinking too much on the word. Yeah? Perfection, yeah. perfection 
and imperfection. They're the opposite. So when, when you say God is perfect, he's not imperfect. That's what it means, the same thing. When God is perfect, what it means is he is not dependent on someone else for his own life, that he needs to ask someone, oh, can I do this? Or can I uh, give me some food so I have to sustain myself? That's perf his perfection means he's independent. That's his perfection. So God, you, you know, uh, uh, why why are you so uh, uh, uncomfortable uh, look, using the word dependent and independent? Because it can, it's a, it's a, it's a not a biblical term for how we, we would use. Talk but about do you understand God. the term? Because in some ways you'd say the father, son, and spirit they depend on one another. But that's a good biblical thing. That mm -hmm. doesn't mean that they're not perfect, but they're perfect in a trinity. So when you know when you Jesus see, look, was look. here, he cried. He that's prayed, a human being. Jesus Christ. Now that's a human being. Yeah, the Son of God became a human being. God can do anything, can't he? So he. Wait, wait. God, we are, we, the Son. God can do anything? Uh, what's, what's perfect and loving he can do? Wait, 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 wait. wait. So, so, Allah so, so, is slowly. able to become a human being. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Don't Let's understand think? something. Let's Don't understand something. Yeah. No, no, no. You know, the, 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 the firstly, firstly. God became can a human I, being. In Jesus. Yeah, I'm just explaining. I explain. He, he, as, as a human being. He lived depending on God. You know, he prayed. He, Jesus prayed to God in, in the Gospels. That's a human being. Yes, as a human being. Not and God. Also God. Yes, that's what Christians. You, you, you know that Christians believe that. Christians Jesus do Christ, believe that. Yeah. Yeah. And he was true human, and he was a true true God, okay. because God is all powerful. Of course, he's able. If he wanted, he could do that. And he humiliated himself. That's that's what. Uh, okay. The, the so instead of okay, instead of um, and living, telling you about your belief, yeah, but, but um, explain, I'm explain. The I'm going to the dependence. Word. Oh, go ahead. Because he lived as dependent on God, right? He prayed to God. He turned to God. He cried to God, and he says, "Your will be done." When he was taken to the cross, remember? Okay. Which means he's showed. He, he's quite quite dependent on his father and that is the intention in trinity yes. you're supposed to be dependent on one another and he's also in that sense a model for being a christian you know because as christians we should depend on god god shouldn't depend on us but god relates to us and god any god in our, in, in, in our lives god okay. in, is involved and okay so let me Give you my response to this, yeah, what you've you. just suggested. Yeah. Then, okay, in your in the explanation you've given of your belief. Explain, explain in your explanation. Yeah, yeah. God as a Trinity, collectively as a Trinity, not individually now. This God, the Trinitarian God, either is dependent on someone or independent on someone. The question still is relevant. If his, if this Trinitarian God is dependent on someone for its own existence, mm -hmm. then that is not God. Because that's dependent. So by 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 default, any being to be even considered to be God has to be perfect, and that includes being independent. I'm not dependent. You are assigning this independence to the Trinity as a whole, rather than individual members. Yeah, because the Son depends on the Father. Uh, yeah, and that is like why now we need to now talk about individually and collectively. The Trinity is God. Yeah? Is is the individual member God? The, the, the term we use, the God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So all are divine. How can you use the term God? Because God is only when they're together, collectively. No, no, no. They, they're all. No, that's not that's not the Christian perspective. Jesus is true God, even as a human being. Then you have the same and problem. Then the moment you say he's true God, he no, must be independent. No, no, no. Because no, a no. true God, listen, no, he, I beyond told you. No, no. He was dependent on please, the Father because please. that's love. You know? No, I understand what you believe, I, yeah. but that belief is not rational and reasonable. It's very for the reasonable. I'll yeah. tell you from why it's Bible. not. I'll from tell you why it's not reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. May I tell you why it's yeah, not reasonable? Yeah, True God must be independent, no, whatever that God is, you disagree. So you're saying true God, like the Trinity, can be dependent. I, I would say the true God, which I believe in, can be dependent. Yeah, in the sense that he's loving. 
No, no. Can be dependent for his own existence. No, not for his existence. Why because, not? Because Why not? God created everything. So, he's the origin no, no. of everything. No, please. And he's the origin Beyond. of love as well. Why would you not accept that the true God can be dependent for its existence on another entity? Why not? Uh, uh, it's not dependent on other... It, Why can it not be? Imagine there's a concept of a true God. Okay. And we are saying that true yes. God is dependent on God A. Okay. I see. <laughs> Why you would know, you not it, accept that? That's the perspective of the, the, the God that originates everything, which is the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It's not one of them, you know. You're, you're, not, you're, not, you're not engaging with my counterexample or counter-reasoning. You, know, you, you explain, you explain your think, belief. I think you will, you will transfer this to God the Son. No, I'm not. Being I'm simply saying, yeah? I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. I'm saying okay. a true God, whatever that God is, a Trinitarian... You cannot be created. Right, right, a true agree, God, yeah, yeah. do you agree, cannot be dependent for its existence on someone else? You have to affirm that. Uh, um, generally, philosophically, I would say. Not that philosophically. As a, as, as a logic. Do you use logic? It's yeah, a logical but, question. Yeah, yeah, but you know, uh, the, the revelation from the Bible overrides logic. It doesn't mean, doesn't mean it, it's illogical. So if the Bible says God is a potato, would you believe in it? No. But if God says, I'm the Father, I'm the Son, and the Spirit, well, if God knows that, may, I'll may, may, may I ask you, you beyond? May I ask you? May I ask you? May I ask you? If, if, remember what you said. Remember what you said. Yeah. The Bible overrides reason and logic. So, if the Bible said God is a potato, it is not logical. Would you believe in it? What would you use? Logic? You know, would you use logic to disprove, uh, disbelieve in that? Imagine uh, the Bible I, I, said God I, was a potato. I, I could use philosophy to kind of uh, question, but uh, the, the way... The Imagine way the Bible says God is a potato. Now I want to know, if that Bible said so, would you believe in it? Uh, Why not? The Bible says so. So why are you now using mean, logic? We, because the terms are loaded when we use them in, in terms of logic. So, so I, I would generally... What are you using to dis disbelieve in that statement? From the Bible, it says clearly, I know, I know what God is a potato. Is. I know, well, you know the the origin of potato. A potato is not Almighty. You know, God is not a thing. God is well. not a thing. God, God is, but God, God can God become a, a thing. Can God become a thing? God can become a human being. You know, he's Almighty. Okay. If, he, if God wants to become oh, a potato, oh, I remember now the question. Original question. Okay. Original question. Should have been a potato. Okay. Sorry. Is, Sorry. The original is question. Able? Is he able to become is a God, he wanted? According to you, I'm answering. I'm answering. Okay, okay. Are you listening? Yeah, okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Can God do things which are ungodly? Um, it depends on what you mean by ungodly. Yeah. That if, goes against his nature. The, uh, things that goes against his nature. Yeah. Well, of course, that, that that depends on his nature. Of course. Yeah. Right. So, so, so he wouldn't go So can his God do things which goes against his nature? I, I don't think so, but it depends on how you define God's nature. I mean, some people would say God's mercy no, is against no. a perfect look, nature look. of God. Is God's nature being always living, ever living? Yeah. Can mean. God go against his ever livingness and cease to exist tomorrow? Uh, uh, no, but... So but now you're saying God cannot do some things. Earlier on, you were you, you, you were saying God can do everything. So this is why I was saying, what? God, that's that's God, the reason I, yeah, I asked you. Know, you. Yeah, you know, I think if God wanted to become a potato... If God wanted to, to can he cease to exist? Huh? In your belief, in your understanding of your belief, yeah. if God wanted to cease to exist, so he's no longer there in existence, can he do that? I don't think that makes sense. As, uh, I didn't ask you whether it makes sense or not. No. Uh, Is he able to do say. that? I don't think that makes sense. It's because not about if, making if, sense if, or not. If it's the origin of the existence, cannot exist. Remember, I mean, yeah, you, know, you, you, it, said, you yeah. said God can do anything. Can could do that? I would have big problems with that. Can he do it? I think that would be logically problematic, as you say. So you would not believe God can cease to exist because it goes against his nature. Yeah. Good. So we are now on the same page. Islam says the same thing. God doesn't do things which goes against his nature. Yeah, okay, yeah. So we, that is so why. That is why. That is why mm -hmm. becoming other than what he is is going against his nature. Yeah. While he's all, all knowledge, listen now carefully, yeah, 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 I'm going to give you some examples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the nature of God, he's all knowledgeable. Becoming ignorant, going against his nature. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to become a potato or a human being. Both of them are ignorant about everything, mm -hmm. going against his nature. 
So God will never become anything like an ignorant human being or ignorant any creation going against his nature. That yeah. will be a logical yeah. objection yeah. to the belief that Christians have that God forsook or somehow left his divine knowledge and became a human being. It doesn't make sense. Like you say, it, 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 it not does make sense. Make sense. But, but How does I, it make I, sense? I, I, how does I, it make I sense? I understand your, your argument, hmm. but it does make sense from the inside. How? If God chooses, and if he's a trinity... If God chooses, he can cease to exist? No, I don't think that. But if God, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, Be but, consistent. But if, God, if, God, if God chooses, he can choose to become... Well, actually, he could have become an animal, but... Uh, no, can he, he go can, against his nature? He, 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 can he choose to go against his nature? That is the uh, question. Uh, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, human beings are in the Bible. Human beings are created in the image of God. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah but let me just explain. And that makes it a lot of sense that he could come become a human being. I'm not talking because, about that. Yes, I, I'm, I'm saying. Generally it, it speaking, of, can yeah. God choose to become something or do something that goes against his nature? But it depends on what we mean by his nature. So okay. Do you believe his nature is? Do you believe his nature? So let's understand that. Do you believe his nature is being ever living, all knowledgeable, all powerful? Yeah. Is that, yeah that's, right. That's basically. Uh, yeah. So you yeah. accept that? So yeah. going doing things which goes against his nature, you should say no. I don't accept that. Yeah, but but you know the the the, the picture the Bible gives. That's why that, you would reject the Bible if it gives a picture like that. No, no. The, the, the why pic would you believe in yeah, a book but, which? You describes know, we, God we, going against his nature. No, that, that's not the case, not at all. Actually, this is this is expression of God's nature. So God, God loves human beings, and, and he, he became ignorant. No, all knowledge will become ignorant. That's, that's what we say, you know, uh oh, he's adding on. Whoever, whoever God yeah. is, mm -hmm. whoever God is, you can put it on him no, if you want. No, no. Whoever no. God is, right? In your understanding, no, we, we, you, know, you need to add the Trinity, right? Trinity. Let's talk about it. God is, is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Is the Trinity, the is the Trinity all knowledgeable? Yeah, and I, and I actually believe the Son is, is, uh, is in principle, uh, omni, omniscient. Omniscient, yeah, right? When? When was he omniscient? Is, it, well, it, he's actually omniscient as a human being, but as he can no, no. choose. That, that, you know, that's, omniscient that, that, means that, omniscient. It doesn't mean yeah, ignorant. Yeah, yeah you, as a human being, you can choose not to use your power no, or your so, knowledge. So we, we, use, we use a term in the Bible, in the Bible, in the New Testament, that Jesus poured out himself for us. So he did make use of all his divine powers. So that, you see, can that, you imagine that God, sense. can you he, imagine? He, he, he walked as a human being, okay. he was born as a baby, right? So he, look, look, he I'm focusing on knowledge. Yeah, 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 but you know. Focus you know, on knowledge aspect, no, right? No, 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 no focus on knowledge. Focus, focus on the whole thing. Because, yeah, <laughs> Let's yeah. do that then. No, yeah. If, if God chose the God the Son mm -hmm. in, in, in a conversation with God the Father, let's say we need to save the human beings because they're rebelled and does they're the, going to die. Does the Son does know the son, everything God the Father has in his mind? In principle, but as a human being, he limited himself to be in one place. Is it possible for God to limit his knowledge? The sun can, yeah. I believe the sun so can let's, do that. Let's, let's but explain. I don't think, I don't think okay. the divinity... And I have understood all. what you believe is. You now let me now give you my critique on that. Mm -hmm. The knowledge of God, mm -hmm. the way you're describing is, God can put his knowledge in a locked box and then he doesn't know anything anymore. Like, imagine your name is Bjorn mm -hmm. and God took that part of knowledge, yeah. kept it under lock and key and now he doesn't know what your name is. Okay. Do you really believe God can't access his knowledge anymore because he chose not to? And he says, oh, what was his name, by the way? Um, imagine, imagine, no, 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 I'm going to... Still be, be, operating from your own wait, wait. Muslim... Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give, give you a bit of a dramatization on that. Imagine now, in the day of judgment, he hasn't got that lock to... Who is he? Wait, 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 wait. The God that put away his access... The Son, the Holy Spirit. The one who has all knowledge whoever that is, the Trinity or individual members, imagine now when he lost access for a certain times, and now, excuse me, excuse me, listen. So when he puts away his knowledge, how does he put away his knowledge and he doesn't know? I don't know how. I don't know how, but the, the, the Bible is... Does it make sense? It does. How? You know, how does it make sense? Because 
if God, the Son, in conversation with the Father said, we need to save human beings. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, uh, from the start, God you wanted human beings to live with himself for eternity, from, from creation to everlasting. And now the divorce was there because of the rebellion. And God said, well, we need to save them. We need to, uh, we need to save them and come to them. So the son said, well, I want, you need I to come will, to, I come will, this, this is just a picture. Did he know beforehand that's going to happen? Uh, yeah, it says he knows, but but let, let me continue. Okay, me continue. continue. Sorry. Yeah. You yeah. realize the problem already, but anyway, yeah, continue. I, I, I know there are many questions. No, no question, know. problems. Continue. There are so many questions there, uh, but but uh, uh, it's called the holes uh, in the narrative. Uh, the son said, uh, or, or that, that's a kind of that's a uh, metaphor. He would become a human being. Yeah. If you if you as a son of God want to become a human being, you will be limited to a body, to a place, I mean... Can you limit may, God, is the question. If the Son chooses to... No, can God can choose to limit you know, himself? You know, we have, we have the Trinity, so God is already uh, omnipresent, omniscient, um, uh, all-powerful. Does it make you know, sense one, to you? One, the Son of God, yes. you know, their Trinity, the Son of God chose to limit for the period of his life on earth. But that's the, the problem, that, that's the problem that you, no, you're describing you know, you know, beyond, beyond. It's, it's like, let me, it's like he put aside some of his What does he mean put aside? What, a, what does he mean put aside? He, he has ability to know everything, but he put aside some of it. He had ability to do everything, but he put it aside. He got hungry. So he can exercise his will on his essential attributes. His yeah, essential he, character. He, he still is all, all powerful, but he can put aside okay. the ability to. So you are saying I don't know how they make the it, infinite can become finite if they wanted to. Yeah, well, well, uh, you know, we 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 always talk about the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. So let's God understand. Could, could, let's understand in simple terms. Simple terms. No, his divine attribute beyond, beyond. Listen, coming to earth. Please, know, please, please. I just tell you the story. I know the story. So there's yeah, no but, point but, repeating it. I'm, 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 I'm giving but, my criticism. Yeah, I want to hear some but, good responses to yeah, it. Yeah, but That's I, the but idea of the, the discussion. But I think you start, so please. You start from a different point no, every time. No, so, my, yeah. my, my, my friend Bjorn, yeah. I know your story yeah, of your belief. Yeah. I'm offering my criticism yeah, but I don't think in the response. The, 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 I'm asking yeah, you to yeah. provide coherent responses to my criticism. You, know, you say mm -hmm. the infinite becomes finite because it chooses to. I find that unreasonable irrational, nonsensical. It doesn't make any sense. How can the infinite become finite? By, by definition, yeah, infinite the, is yeah. infinite. Mm -hmm. Infinite yeah. cannot become finite. Unknowledgeable cannot become ignorant because by definition it's unknowledgeable. Yeah, Do you but, understand that? So you have, a belief, but, 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 you have a belief in which God, true God, and yet is not self-sufficient. No, you know, we need to start from Trinity. So the God as, as a full Trinitarian God he continues to be omnipresent, all-powerful, omniscient. But the individual but, members are not but God. If, he, if, if the son chooses to become a human being, to save the, humankind, can the choice and come even into, to die. Can the choice come into play? God, who is God, I, I think can God, he choose not to become God? Not to be God anymore? Yeah, of course, he remains God. No, 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 please, please, listen, listen. Christians believe no, may I, he is may God I, the Son. May I, he doesn't, may he doesn't I, move away. Beyond, you my know, question to you is this. You're not you engaging think, with me, right, are you? Yeah, but I think you're starting from the other... The Son, point. let's talk about the Son. God the, the Son. Was he God to begin with? He was God the Son from... from, from was he, nothing. was he in fullness of divinity to begin with? Yeah, yeah. What does it mean, fullness of divinity? Uh, yeah, that's, that's your term. What? You affirmed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell me, what does it mean, fullness of divinity? It's the God, the Son, and the Father. No, the Son. In the full sense, yeah. and they have, they have the, 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 the full access to both the presence of God, the, the, I think generally the attributes of God. So the Son so was the sun. perfect to begin with. Before he came into this yeah, world, yeah, yeah, in so, okay, let's understand that. Then. Before the incarnation mm -hmm. into a human body, yeah. the Son of God was... What? Fullness of divinity. Perfect. To be perfect, we have to be independent. 
Was he independent? The answer you said earlier on, no. So he wasn't perfect. You're bringing in something very strange here. Not strange. To be perfect, you need to be independent. Yes. The Christian understanding of perfection is love. No, that's, that's not that's perfection. The Christian. Yes, it is. Allah what is, is not the, perfect. What, is the word, what does the word perfect mean? What does the word perfect mean? Well, it depends in the English depends. language. English. 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 Yeah. English, not Chinese or any other yeah, language. The, the, English. Uh, the, in, in the biblical term. No, like, like English in, in term. Greek. English term. Like in Greek, it means complete, like, like it should be. Complete in what? It depends on what you talk about perfection. Everything. Perfection in what? Is God, this, this, let's 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 this, this simplify. Let, no, no. Let's uh, simplify. You know, let's simplify. Allah, let's if simplify. He is alone, if Allah is so alone, you, I don't think he's perfect. So let, why? Because, why not? Why not? Because he's alone. He doesn't love. No, no. What, what I, makes I him think, imperfect? I, because he doesn't love. Wait, 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 wait. I think love is part okay. of the perfection. So if someone is alone, mm -hmm. imagine you are in a desert island. So basically, you have no love. Yeah? yeah? You have no love? So if you see someone now coming along, a nice lady, you can't love her because you are alone. Suddenly... How would you ever find someone? So, if someone came. So basically, if you're on a desert island, you cannot love anyone or anything because no love. Yeah? You aren't able to love the creatures, the environment, because no love. You do, you, no, you, you, you do realize this Christian theology that you are bringing about love it's, it's, it's totally nonsensical because you talk about love. God, look. I mean, it might a, not be true, a, no, but it no, makes no. a lot of sense. I'm telling you, know, you why it doesn't make sense. But I'm going to tell you why it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Any being, any being, yeah. if they're perfect, perfection means they have no imperfection. Yeah. So that means, is it, is it, is, is I'm explaining, I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah. So if that being now creates someone, he's able to love this someone because he would have inherently this attribute already. So in the Quran, Allah is described as loving one. You didn't know that, did you? I think he, had, he had lots of attributes, but I don't know the specifics. He didn't know but, about but love. But God is the most loving one. Yeah, but he couldn't love anything before, until he created it, could he? Hang on. Is that, you know, is, God, the Christian God is loving from eternity and actually loving, not just dreaming of love, but he's actually... Would he still love the sinners? Yeah, it does. You know that? You, don't you know the Christian story? God loves all the world. The okay. world is is the people who are sinning, the, the, the enemies. Do you, you, rem, you remember when Jesus was crucified? He said, "Forgive them." Brother, so that, that's just to come story, back to the right? point, right? Yeah. So, so now, God you, loves sinners. so you now have Jesus Christ that we are now yeah. critiquing his personhood in terms of his character. Yeah, so you, you have, you, but wait, you, you're doing you, a philosophical critique, look, look. which is interesting. But so, you know, we, why we, is your belief philosophically incoherent? Incoherent. I mean, keep incoherent. Why is it incoherent? Why yes. Is it coherent? That's why you don't want no, to talk about philosophy. You kept saying, you kept saying <laughs> don't bring philosophy in. Yeah. When we bring philosophy yeah, in, yeah, we yeah, know yeah. that your belief is incoherent. No, no, I think, I, I, is it coherent I, or incoherent? I would say it, it makes sense. It, it, is it, it coheres like, if you, if you uh, start with. So let me tell you why it's not coherent. I, I would say rather that why don't maybe you, why the don't idea you, of Allah is incoherent. Why don't you? Because he really doesn't love a sinner. He doesn't love anything until so he I'm creates gonna, something. God, and maybe he doesn't love you. Slow down, slow down, slow down. You know, is, is I don't want to go into this. So, your, so you your, see, you see, beyond, my beyond. Idea of perfection. Let, let me just explain. No, no, before you the, explain. The stop, 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 stop. The, the, let me stop, just, let stop, me just stop, explain. please, you stop. Bring in the perfect stop, perfection. stop, beyond, stop. And I would say, stop. love okay. is. I would say love is part beyond, of perfection. Beyond, beyond. If you're going to have a meaningful discussion, yeah. we need to engage with each other. Yeah. Which you're yeah. not doing, I'm afraid. Yeah. I think I started by I started by critiquing who? Not the father, but about the son. Are you happy to continue on the hearing the critique? Philosophical critique. Yeah, but I think you, you're smuggling in some concept all the time. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no hear me out. I, I, yeah, you believe the yeah. son, before he incarnated, was true God, perfect. Did you affirm, yeah, do you affirm that? Yes, I believe right. as a human being, he was true God. He was Sorry. No, no, I believe, I believe, before Brother, please, 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 please. when he was a human being as did well. You, did, oh. you, did you listen to what I said? I said yes. Before the incarnation is what yes. I'm going to talk about. Not and after the incarnation.